Hey everyone, I'm Maddie Thompson and today we're here at the ClearPath Robotics Integration Shop to kick off our new series where we showcase some of the coolest robots that our team has been working on. Now before we begin, don't forget to subscribe because there will be more videos coming about some interesting and unique robots. Now let's get started with the episode. So today I'm here with one of our integrators, Wes Thompson, who's going to talk to us a little bit about his latest project. So Wes, what do we have here? Hey, so uh, here we have a fully loaded Husky. This Husky is destined for a research lab at a university, and uh, its main features are our indoor autonomy software as well as our outdoor autonomy software. So what different components did you put on this robot? So this robot is a Husky-based platform. This is a very rugged indoor and outdoor capable vehicle, starting with our indoor autonomy software package. This consists of a LiDAR on both the front and the rear. These are two-dimensional LiDARs that scan and map the surroundings. On top of that, it also uses an IMU. This is a, an inertial measurement unit that is basically, it detects any forces in any direction. Moving on to the outdoor navigation package, um, the main components that make up this package are the two GPS antennas. These antennas are paired with uh, two receiver units mounted here. They will process the incoming signals and output the GPS data to the computer. Paired with that, we have a, a uh, VLP32C. This is a 32-beam, three-dimensional LiDAR that scans 360 all the way around the robot. Moving to the arm on the front of this robot, this is a UR5E arm. It has a five kilogram capacity. Uh, on the end, you can see that we have a three-fingered gripper. This gripper has uh, force feedback. Um, you can control the fingers individually. The control for this arm has been uh, taken apart and actually mounted inside the chassis so we don't have the control box on the outside. Um, underneath of the arm, there is the main control board, and inside the chassis, we have a 48 volt DC converter, as well as uh, some relays to control things like the e-stop. On the rear here, as you can see, we have this touch screen, and you can use the screen to move the arm or view its position, um, just general controls related to the arm. So inside the user bay of this robot, we actually have two computers. The first computer is the main computer. Uh, this also actually has a GPU upgrade. Um, the GPU is necessary because on the front of the robot, we have a stereo vision camera. The second computer is dedicated for running the indoor autonomy software and has a dedicated connection to the main computer uh, for, for all the data that it needs to send back and forth. Um, you can see all the connectors that we have here. A lot of this is broken out for the user to be able to connect their computer to the main computer and do any communications. We also have a cooling fan built in. I'm sure you can hear that running right now. Finally, this robot has been upgraded to a large lithium battery to increase the runtime as there is a lot of sensors on here to be powered um, and it is highly recommended when loading up a robot this much to uh, upgrade to a lithium battery. Mm. Wow, that's a lot of components. Can we see them in action? Let's do it. So before this robot is ready to be packed up and shipped out, we're going to talk a little bit about our software with our software developer, Luis. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool robot that we have here. It's completely integrated into the Ross Noetic ecosystem. The arm, the gripper, the navigation system, and the LiDARs on both the back and the front of the robot can all be accessed through Ross. And also we have our indoor navigation system, which will let you map indoor areas like this warehouse and autonomously move the vehicle through them directly through a web interface. We can also switch to an outdoor navigation system, which you can use to 
navigate using the GPS, the heading, and localization GPS is here, and you can basically move it wherever you want. So that's everything for our video today. Thank you so much, Wes and Luis, for showing us your robot. Now, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more of our robot integration videos. If you found this video today interesting, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions at all, just leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.